so apparently a brand new Jujutsu Kaisen Zero trailer dropped today. I honestly can't believe it, bruh. Yo, this came out of nowhere for me. Yo, shout out to the people on Twitter that were notifying me about this. But of course, hope you guys are doing well like always, man. I'm excited to watch this. The last time we watched a Jujutsu Kaisen Zero trailer was the teaser that dropped like a couple of months ago. It showed like Yuta and uh, the girl and like a ring. It didn't really show that much, but we did get to see at least what Yuta sounded like and whatnot. So I, that was pretty cool. But this is the actual official trailer. So it is substantially longer uh, not that long. It's like two minutes right now. But hey, yo, two minutes is better than nothing. Am I right? So I know that Jujutsu Kaisen Zero comes out really soon in Japan, at least. I know it drops in December, I think, like December 24th or something like that. Um, obviously, it's probably not going to drop in the West until like, I don't know, you know, a couple months later. But hey, regardless, I'm still super hyped to see this movie. I'm so super hyped to see Yuta's character. I've been telling you guys, like, everyone loves this man, and I'm really curious to see exactly what he adds to the world of Jujutsu Kaisen. I want to see his story. I'm trying to see this prequel to the Jujutsu Kaisen story that I know already. So regardless, dude, I'm just hyped to see this goddamn movie. You feel me? See, so yeah, everybody, without further ado, brand new trailer today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, guys. It's super easy. It takes like one second. Of course, you guys can always change your mind later. Also, we're on our way to hitting that 200,000 subscribers together, so make sure to hit that subscribe button man but without further ado let's get it all right let's see oh yeah i got the subs on this time guys don't worry i didn't forget okay first uh, first things first the visuals right now this shit looks clean okay that man ghetto here that man looking evil as fuck too that man gojo so I, I do see he has like the the bandages now like he doesn't have like a like a blindfold or whatever the fuck. Bro. Oh, okay. So that was like his childhood friend. That's pretty cool. It kind of mirrors like Yuji and like in the first episode of Jujutsu Kaisen in like that same room. Yamaki? I'm definitely getting like that movie quality feel. You, you know? You know what I'm talking about, dude? Oh, man. Okay, okay, I feel you, I feel you, Yuta. Okay. How big of an impact is Gojo gonna play in this prequel, though? That's what I'm trying- Okay, Panda going up against Geto like that? Okay. Toge looks dope. I like his hair like that. Okay, that man, Yuta got some moves. I, I love that he got the sword. That looks dope as shit. Okay, hold on. That man... That man looks like he's really about that shit, though. You feel me? Hold on. We got to rewind that shit back. You feel me? Look at that. That man say, yo. That man put the goddamn... Yo. <laughs> that man look like he put the fucking summoning circle on the ground or some shit, bro. That was dope as hell. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going to go back, obviously, like always. And I want to, you know, actually piece together what the fuck I'm seeing. This little first segment right here, though, I'm loving the setting and everything. Like, you see these, like, buildings and, like, the skyscraper and whatnot. Like, that shit looks like... Like, this shit looks, like, nice, man. Like, I definitely can tell that, like, it's, like, that movie quality feel. Like, I don't... I, I can't really, like, put it into words. It's just, like, it looks good, bro. Um, this sequence right here, this looks like, uh... I don't know, like, uh, what was it called? Like, the, the tournament thing that they did, uh, you know, uh, after uh, the, the Mahito fight. I can't really remember what it's called. But, like, you know, like, the tournament where, like, the schools went up against each other. This is kind of the vibes that's getting me right now. Except Geto, when he said, yo, let's curse each other. He's like, yo, I'm about to kill you guys. I don't know. He sounded evil as fuck. I don't know who the fuck these people are, but I don't know, man. So, okay, so Gojo right here, like I said, he has the bandages on his eyes. I don't know if that's, like... Like, I don't know if his, like, um, the, his blindfold thing right now is, like, special or anything, or in any way, like, it does anything special, but I'm curious to see why does he have bandages instead, you know? Like, that's something, like, he, like, oh, shit, you know, I gotta cover my eyes up, or else I might kill everybody, and I don't know if the, the blindfold that he has now, like, suppresses his power or some shit like that, but, uh, it's really curious to, to see him like this, I don't know why, uh, but hopefully they explain that in the movie. Uh, I know that right here he says that... This is the special grade vengeful curse spirit Rika. So Rika is um holy shit, I can't fucking remember his name. Yuta. Um Yuta's uh I guess childhood friend. Like if we go here, he said Rika and Yuta will get married when they grow up. 
You know, I've seen a plenty of anime that are like, yo, let's get married when we're when we're older and whatnot. Eh, so I assume like she's like the childhood friend to 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 Yuta. So I'm really curious to see exactly how their relationship is really tied in to the story. You know, involving like Ghetto and whatnot. Because we saw like later on, it's like shit gets like real. Like bro, like Gojo's throwing hands. Pan is throwing hands with Ghetto. Toga's doing his goddamn thing. Uh, Maki and, 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 and Yuta are like having like this fucking like emotional moment. That man Yuta's looking legit. I, li I like the sword. I like the, the little ring he got. That's cool. This shot right here with like Yuta and Ghetto. This shit is sick as fuck. Y'all know I love my like, my like face offs, my like the, the stare downs, dude. That shit is so clean, man. I'm sorry. That shit is so clean. So by the looks of it, I'm gonna assume Gato is the villain, I guess, maybe, or like he's he's the antagonist of the the movie, or maybe I could be wrong. Maybe it's fucking Rika and, and whatnot, but I'm gonna assume. But like right here, right? What if this is Rika? Cause that that looks like the 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 curse that we saw right here. Am I not am I tripping? No, that's definitely Rika. Okay, so never mind. Fuck that. So it seems like Rika is going to be working with us somehow, or I guess Yuta has the ability to, I don't know, if summon her or control her or call her out for help. So that's really interesting too. That's interesting that Yuta uses cursed energy with it, like his sword. We saw him like infusing and whatnot, but he's also able to summon Rika. Or I don't know if he can just do this one time and that's like some big fight that happens in the movie that he's able to do that, but that's really interesting. So no, okay, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that Gato is the he's the antagonist like he's the man that we got to fight in this movie so that's gonna be really interesting because we've seen in the series that man is still around so you know I I don't know if he loses or he runs away or he beats everybody but obviously in the series that man is still doing his fucking thing with Mahito and whatnot so bro that's interesting that's that's really interesting man oh by the way that I gotta say the music slaps the visuals slaps. I've already said that, man. Just general things, dude. Like, the movie, it just, it just looks good. I'm super hyped to see this movie. But, yeah, guys, that's that's really going to be it, man. Um, You know, it was like a minute and a half trailer. Um, I'm glad. They showed a lot. They definitely showed a lot. But it's definitely, like, nothing that, like, I can really piece together. Um, It just seems that Utah, Utah and Rika are definitely, like, the two main factors that go on in this movie and that's kind of Yuta's driving force to do everything from what I've seen in the dialogue and whatnot. Um but yeah dude um this movie it's gonna slap. I have a feeling it's gonna slap. Obviously Gojo's in it. I saw that Gojo is trending so uh <laughs> yo whenever that man Gojo's on screen dude I swear to God it's just like he just breaks the internet bro. I love that man. Um but yeah really curious to see how Yuta uh stacks up to everybody because like I said everyone loves Yuta but uh I, I really want to see what he got in the movie. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, let me know uh, what you guys think of the trailer down below. Um, let me know if it lived up to all your expectations of for the manga readers out there. Like, does this look good to you guys? I have high hopes for this. I have high hopes for this movie, man. I really hope it delivers. Hey, everybody, make sure to discuss that all in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe as well. It's super easy. It takes like one second. Of course, you guys can always change your mind later. It really helps the boy out a lot. But nonetheless, it's Bindi Boy Ivory, and I'm out, guys. Peace.